Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Barrett Gertler, and it is my great privilege to serve as president of the University of Toronto. At the outset of our gathering, I would like to acknowledge the land on which U of T operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. Well, welcome everyone to the Toronto Pan Am Sports Centre here at the University of Toronto Scarborough. It is a special day, and I want to begin with a special warm welcome to our guest of honour, Sam Ibrahim. Sam is president, yes. Sam is president and general manager of the Aero Group of Companies and a brilliant Scarborough success story. He's also a familiar face on this campus as the co-founder of the Scarborough Shooting Stars basketball team, which plays in this very room, as he reminded me a few minutes ago. And I know there are many fans in the room. Well, U of T is renowned for its culture of entrepreneurship. In fact, earlier this year, UBI Global, a global ranking firm in the entrepreneurship space, ranked U of T among the top five university business incubators in the world. And UTSC is a vibrant and key part of this wonderful ecosystem with its two campus-led accelerators, the Bridge and the Hub. Examples include Genesis Bioindustries, which is turning organic waste into sustainable biodegradable materials, and Transcripts, a blockchain-based document verification platform. Transcripts has recently already helped thousands of Ukrainian refugees to get access to their medical records. Another example is the Nobelum Innovator Award, uh, which aims to help launch 100 black-owned startups in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics by 2025. The Nobelum Partnership is a terrific illustration of how UTSC delivers on the university's commitment to inclusion. Today's announcement will enable UTSC to make an even greater global impact through new startups with a particular focus on inclusive entrepreneurship here in Scarborough. So now, without further ado, I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled to announce that Sam Ibrahim has made a wonderfully generous investment of $25 million to accelerate that impact. This landmark philanthropic investment will establish the new Sam Ibrahim Center for Inclusive Excellence in Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Leadership. The center will be housed with other key facilities in a new state-of-the-art building to be known as the Sam Ibrahim Building, which will serve as an innovation hub for the entire campus. In addition, Sam's visionary investment will establish a chair to lead the center, the Sam Ibrahim Chair in Inclusive Entrepreneurship and Innovation, and an entrepreneur in residence who will provide mentorship to student entrepreneurs. Finally, Sam's partnership with us will establish three new award programs to help our students overcome barriers they may face. The Sam Ibrahim Awards, the Gabriel Fanous Awards, and the Shaman Ukani Awards. This is truly a remarkable milestone for UTSC, for U of T, and for the Eastern GTA. On behalf of the university, I would like to express our profound gratitude to Sam Ibrahim for his vision, for his partnership and for this historic investment in student entrepreneurs and innovators here in Scarborough. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Today's announcement is a, an emphatic statement to the world that U of T Scarborough is a vital hub for inclusive entrepreneurship. It heralds a bright future for our student entrepreneurs the founders of the next generation of game-changing Canadian ventures right here in the Eastern GTA. And now I'm delighted to introduce Sam's colleagues from the Aero Group of Companies who will speak to us in turn. 
Gabriel Fanous is Vice President of Arrow Workforce Solutions, and Shaman Ukani is Co-Founder and Managing Director of Arrow Professional Services. Following their remarks, Sam will say a few words about his vision for this transformative partnership. After Sam's remarks, Professor Wisdom Tetty, Vice President of U of T and Principal of U of T Scarborough, will speak and then lead us through the rest of the program. With that, I'd like to invite Gabriel Fanous to the podium. Gabriel. Good afternoon. My family and I immigrated here from Jerusalem. We spoke Arabic at home. We still do. My grandparents live on Brimley Road, where they have been there for 40 years. I wasn't exactly academically gifted, but I loved to learn. The world was my classroom. I met Sam Ibrahim 23 years ago when we both worked at American Express Call Center. On September 11, 2001, I woke up and I went to work to go to Amex. My shift started at 10 a.m. I was 23 years old. If I thought that maybe the world wasn't designed for people like me to succeed before 9-11, it became very clear afterwards. I remember most people knew very little about Arabic people before then. And now they knew everything about us, but for all the wrong reasons. By the time I was 28 years old, I realized that you can't really document intangibles on a resume, and that entrepreneurship was the only choice for me. You see, people are often overlooked for a variety of bias reasons and perceived flaws. Lack of formal education, appearance, personality, religious beliefs, or ethnic background. In the early days of Arrow, we knew two things very clearly. Number one, that there was no plan B, and number two, the Calvary wasn't coming to save us. I'm very proud to have played a part in helping build an organization like the Aero Group of Companies alongside Sam Ibrahim and Shaman Ukani, a place where everyone was given a fair chance as long as they bought into the vision and were willing to work hard. What this partnership with the University of Toronto represents to us is an opportunity to provide leadership and structure in our community and create an environment that fosters growth and progress for anyone who has the courage to meet three criteria. Number one, a deep, a deep desire to succeed. Number two, the humility to learn. And number three, the passion to pursue beautiful ideas a place that is void of all bias, an inclusive place where students are free to think, believe, and to achieve, and to become whoever they dream to become. I look forward to being an integral part of this truly remarkable legacy work. My name is Gabriel Fanous. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you all for attending today. Uh, my name is Shaman Ukhani, and I am the co-founder of the Aero Group of Companies. It is with great pleasure and indeed an honor to be here in celebration of this historic partnership between the Aero Group of Companies and the University of Toronto Scarborough. When Sam and I started the business together, we did it with just hope and prayer with the hope to improve our families' lives. Both living in Scarborough, raising our families. Sam had a young son at the time, now he has two beautiful grown boys, and I have my three wonderful daughters. Realizing that our community was rich with everything except access, 
which was pretty non-existent, and the opportunities were quite limited. We still decided to build our business in Scarborough and ultimately stay in Scarborough. <laughs> We had to carve out both of those things for ourselves and our company. Unsure of ourselves, but sure of our values, we took our seat at the entrepreneurial table and with consistent, persistent, and unrelenting resilience, we kept our heads down for the past 17 years. Slowly building, trying to be a little better every day, and setting the best examples that we could for the people around us. All the while, fighting for access, providing solid opportunities for the growth and betterment of our people, teams, and business partners. Now we look up after 17 years and we realize that everyone seems to be looking back at us. This is why it is so important for us to give back to the community that has been so good to us. This auspicious occasion fills me with great pride to be in the company of all the exceptional educators at this school who, on a daily basis, often unnoticed, contribute towards shaping the minds of future generations. Through their hard work and diligence, they provide inspiration and guidance to the young people who will one day be leaders in our society, including potentially my one-month-old grandson who's here with us today. It is therefore important to highlight that everyone deserves an opportunity, regardless of their background or where they come from. We built our business on this principle. What one does with one's opportunity is entirely up to them but making sure that we have institutions in place that allow for ideas to flourish freely and supporting these institutions based on our shared values is a responsibility that belongs to us now and today. The entrepreneurial spirit is strong in our East Region and this school and partnership will provide access and opportunities as well as empower and inspire our youth, especially our young women. We value our community, we value our youth, and we value the best ideas regardless of where they come from. Opening doors is great, but making sure those doors stay open is our mandate, and this school will help accomplish that. Thank you. Okay, I got some notes. Okay. All right, I want to give it up to Shaman and Gabriel, speaking so highly of Arrow. That was awesome. To President Gertler, thank you for the introduction. Um, okay, so for everyone who doesn't know me, I want to introduce myself. So um, my name is Sam Brahim. I'm the CEO of the Air Group of Companies. I am the husband of my wife here, Chloe McLaughlin. Shout out Mother's Day. I am the father of my two boys right here who are skipping school today. Okay, but they're skipping school to hear about dad's new school, so it's okay, right? Okay, Gabriel and Isaiah. I am, I am the son of my mother and father, Mohammed and Layla Ibrahim, who came from Egypt on Friday to be here today. All right? But most importantly, I am a certified, bona fide, through and through, true and through, 100% kid from Scarborough. Okay. So look, look, the, the gravity of today's event is not lost upon me. 
I know there's never been a school named after anyone at U of T Scarborough. So it's an honor to be the first. And it's an honor to be the first person of the Islamic faith, Arab descent, to have a school named after them in Scarborough. I think actually in, in Canada. Um, I did some research, I, I, I couldn't think of another one. It's an honor to give a donate, uh, investment this large to our, um, our uh, program here, Entrepreneurial Study Program. Um, it's an absolute honor to be the first. But I am certain that once this announcement is made, and once our community hears about what, is, what we're doing here, there'll be a lot more coming. So we're gonna trailblaze what is gonna happen a lot more in the future. So I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story. I was a student here at UTSC back in the 90s, 99 to 2003 or so. And I rode my bike to school when the weather was good, when, you know what, the conditions weren't bad, I rode my bike to school. Some of my friends still know that. Some of my friends from high school are here, grade school are here. And it wasn't for fitness. I rode my bike to school because, you know what, it was actually saving me money. And I would see all these incredible banners that were hanging in the school and on Ellesmere and on Military Trail of all these incredible people that have graduated from here and the incredible accomplishments they've made. It was... It was somewhat out of touch. You know, when I would look at those banners, it was the chief of police, it was someone making breakthroughs in science and health, but it was inspiring. And I, I thought to myself, wow, that would be great one day to be, like, to be like people on these banners. And then I was inspired again recently, in September, when I came to the Orlando Corporation's announcement that they were investing in putting a med school right here in Scarborough. And the thinking behind the med school, it's very important, the thinking was students that are trained in Scarborough will practice in Scarborough because there's a huge shortage of medical professionals. So that idea got me thinking. But unlike the first time, I was in a position to actually make a difference. So I realized I wanted to do the same thing. I want to I, I, want, I realize that an entrepreneur can make an incredible living. They can be their own boss and not only support themselves and their families, but also uplift their communities. I want to inspire the next generation of alumni who will be celebrated on banners and in their own way, inspire generations after them. In Scarborough, we have incredible talent and extraordinary potential for innovation and entrepreneurship. Some of those negatives people talk about Scarborough are actually advantages. We are resilient. We are inclusive. We are diverse. And anyone here that grew up in Scarborough knew you had to be diverse. Because if you lived on the third floor of a building, you know, 16 apartments, 15 of them were from different cultures. We understood diversity. All we really need is the same level of access as everywhere else. No handouts, no donations, no charity, just access with strong examples. It's a simple equation. Access plus examples equals opportunity. Endless opportunity. Now I know the school has a math program, but you don't need to be a math major. Okay, access plus, lead, plus strong example equals incredible endless opportunity. That is the inspiration. That is the inspiration why we established this partnership, to support the next generation of, of entrepreneurs in Scarborough through the Sam Ibrahim Center for Inclusive Excellence in Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Leadership. I hope the center's future home, the Sam Ibrahim Building, yeah, they named, they named the building Sam Ibrahim Building. I hope, yeah, 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 look, look, for, for guys like us, we didn't expect to see that last thing on the building ever in our lives. All right, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not playing here. Um, but, I, but I do hope the building can be an inspiration to all who see it. That it helps students realize that they can achieve whatever they put their minds to. Like those banners I saw back in the day. And given the center's focus on inclusive, uh, inclusive excellence, I hope they'll also learn the importance of bringing the whole community with them. Which is what we're doing, which is what I'm doing, what Shaman's doing, what the whole Arab group of companies is doing. 
And lastly, I want students to, I want everyone to understand the most fulfilling thing you can do in your life is help other people achieve their dreams. And that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing here today. We're helping other people achieve their dreams because it enriches our lives the most. So with that being said, I'd like to call up President, Vice President, and Principal of UTS Scarborough, uh, Wisdom Tetley, who I know is very familiar with inspiring inclusive excellence here in Scarborough. Thank you very much. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's just wonderful to see many members of the university, colleagues from our group of companies, friends, neighbors from the wider Scarborough community gather here this afternoon uh, to celebrate this momentous occasion with us. When I came into the room earlier, the energy here was so palpable. And I think it's a great precursor to the vibrant innovation and entrepreneurial ecosystem that this investment would unleash in our community. Every one of us here today understands and values what it is that makes Scarborough so special. A diverse community that exudes ingenuity and converges around values of inclusion, mutual support, and a can-do spirit. The generous investment that we're celebrating today reflects those values and that spirit. It signals confidence in the University of Toronto as a like-minded partner dedicated to fostering those very same values. It is also an acknowledgement of the universities and this campus's record of inclusive excellence and our demonstrable capacity to use it to supercharge the region's entrepreneurial and innovation ecosystem. We're indeed very proud to be embedded in the region that we serve. And we embrace our role as an anchor institution that is committed to the social and economic development of our immediate communities. There are many reasons why, on behalf of the campus, Scarborough, and the Eastern GTA, I join President Gertler in conveying our immense gratitude to Sam Ibrahim for this visionary investment in UTSC and our region. And I'll just elaborate on a few. With this generous investment, UTSC will play a key role in helping to develop the next generation of Scarborough-based entrepreneurs and innovators into transformational leaders. A core mission of the center is to ensure that these future game changers embody leadership values that promote SAM's and U of T's commitment to inclusive, equitable, and flourishing communities that enables sustainable livelihoods for all. The Sam Ibrahim Center for Inclusive Excellence in Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Leadership, which we call SEAL for short, will be truly a place of innovation, a place that will leverage the university's vast pool of entrepreneurial and research expertise and its global networks to provide student innovators at UTSC with world-class connections resources, and learning opportunities, which will help to incubate and to accelerate their ideas into viable ventures. We continuously strive to provide access to a rich, rewarding, inclusive, and supportive educational experience that enables all our students to thrive and to make valuable contributions to society, regardless of their identity, their strengths, or the challenges that they face. The support provided by this investment will enhance our ability to attract, nurture, and develop many more talented students, alumni, and community partners who will develop their ideas and locate their ventures right here in Scarborough, and therefore helping to further spare economic growth for the entire Eastern GTA community while driving equitable socioeconomic development locally, regionally, and internationally. The Sam Ibrahim Center would not only allow UTSC to expand on the current programming offered by our campus accelerators, it will also support outreach activities such as work-integrated learning, 
opportunities and, design, and, and lecture series by creating a network of new entrepreneurial leaders in the region. Up and coming innovators will benefit from opportunities to engage with renowned leaders and experts who provide valuable mentorship. We look forward to the Sam Ibrahim Center's global prominence as a magnet anchored right here in Scarborough that would attract and inspire the best minds from everywhere and foster partnerships that connect communities and generate solutions that promote inclusive and sustainable socioeconomic development for all. It is my pleasure to call on Gary Anandasari, MP Scarborough Rouge Park, Vijay Tanigatsalam, MPP Scarborough Rouge Park, and Jennifer McKelvey, Deputy Mayor, City Councilor for Scarborough Rouge Park, respectively, to share some remarks, uh, and they'll do that in turn. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. What a delight it is to, to be here on uh, such a special occasion. I want to acknowledge that we're gathered here on the traditional lands of many nations, including the Miss Sagas of the Credit. And let me uh, thank uh, President uh, Gertler as well as uh, Vice President Teddy uh, for their leadership in uh, bringing UFT Scarborough to, to new heights along with all of, his, all of their colleagues. I don't know what to say today because uh, in many ways this is uh, a homecoming for me because my former neighbors, uh, aero professionals uh, at 10 Milner Business Court, uh, have uh, climbed such great heights to be here today. The 17 year journey that Sam talks about in many ways started off with very late nights that I could attest to with many, many different relationships that cross race, culture, language groups, faith, but ultimately with one purpose. In many ways, it's about giving back to the community that they grew up in. And as Sam has so eloquently said, he's through and through a Scarborough native, someone who gives back along with the, all of the folks at Aero Professionals, including Shaman and Gabriel. Today is a very special day because this is about investment in our future. It's about investing in all the things that are important to us. For those of us who grew up in Scarborough, always felt like in many ways we were second class citizens. We were outside of the center of influence and power, outside of what was perceived to be the power centers without a seat at the table. Over the years, we see that changing. We see UFT Scarborough under the leadership of Professor Teddy taking leadership with the Black Entrepreneurship Strategy, with the Scarborough Charter, and with other initiatives that's meant to ensure that this table as, is as big and as diverse as this community. So I want to thank on behalf of the Government of Canada, Sam, for this enormous, enormous achievement partnership, support and contribution, and most importantly, the faith that you've bestowed on this community. This community is worthy of it. Scarborough is worthy of the confidence that you have and return will inspire many more generations of young people to reach new heights. Speaking to Jamal earlier on today, and I want to conclude with what he actually said, he said, this is just the beginning. And I suspect this is a really good beginning for UFT Scarborough, for all of us in Scarborough, as well as you, Sam, and your incredible team. Thank you. Have a fantastic afternoon. Hello everyone, it is my pleasure to be here at the University of Toronto Scarborough campus for this historic announcement of the Sam Ibrahim Center for Inclusive Excellence in Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Leadership. 
I want to start off by saying a few words about my friend, Sam Ibrahim. When I first met Sam, I recognized something in him right away. That is his love for Scarborough. He has always fought for good opportunities to our neighborhoods, for kids, for next generation of this community. And that is why I'm not surprised when I heard that Sam would be investing 25 million right here into this community. As Sam said, Scarborough is one of the most diverse communities in this country, and people from all walks of life from across the world call Scarborough home. But at the same time, there's no doubt Scarborough has been neglected for too long. But Scarborough is no more the forgotten part of the city of Toronto. Whether it's a new Love for Scarborough campaign going on, or whether the new Scarborough shooting stars, or the leadership that Principal Greckler and Tete's are undertaking in this campus, and also under the leadership of Premier Ford, we are building Scarborough Subway, building brand new hospital, and with the partnership of UTSC and SHN, establishing the first ever medical school right here at UTSC in Scarborough. However, we cannot build without the hard work and commitment from people like Sam. So because of these initiatives, because of the investment from the Aero Group of Companies, Sam Ibrahim, Scarborough has increasingly become one of the greatest places to live, to work, and to start a business. The University of Toronto Scarborough campus is doing amazing things, giving back to young people, to whether it is the brand new Scarborough Academic of, Academy of Medicine and Integrated Health, or now Sam Ibrahim Center for Inclusive Excellence in Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing is clear, that it is that Scarborough is back on the map. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey, and I'm also, more importantly for this crowd, a proud University of Toronto Scarborough alumni. And Sam, I, I'm young, just like you, class of 2000, super young. Um, so I'm also a very strong supporter of UTSC, so thrilled to be here today to celebrate this extraordinary investment in our local community. These past few years have not been easy on any of us, and as we all know, businesses and startups had a particularly challenging time navigating the unknown. But here in Scarborough, we stuck together. We grit through the tough times, and we have our neighbors' backs. And sometimes on those dark, dark days, a shooting star shines the way. That's what makes today so exciting. Sam, thanks to you, more students will have access to state-of-the-art teaching space, labs, computer and math science offices, as well as enhanced student experience and well-being offices. And these are important resources that could not be more important. And I am so happy for you that that building will have your name. There is no better place to entrust those resources than the University of Toronto, one of Canada's top academic institutions. Strong universities shape strong cities. There's a reason why so many cities across Ontario are built around anchor institutions. And as our city continues to focus on its recovery, investments in our community like this one will make sure that Scarborough and Toronto come back stronger than ever. We all know the students of today are the leaders of tomorrow. So Sam, Gabriel, Shaman, thank you so very much for giving these students the tools and opportunities necessary to achieve their true potential. Scarborough to the world, thank you.
Thank you all. Um, now, the Sam Ibrahim Center will serve as a truly exciting collision space, a space where new collaborations and partnerships take place, where ideas turn into the kinds of innovations that transform lives, livelihoods, and the socioeconomic health of our communities and our planet, from the local to the global. The next person you'll hear from today is an example of the impact this investment will generate. Dr. Melani Ratman, 2018 postgraduate alum from the neuroscience department and a highly accomplished individual whose impact is being felt in many spaces. She's a community connector and leader. She recently attended the United Nations Annual Commission on the Status of Women's Session in New York. She's the co-founder of Ultimate Science, a mentorship program running in Toronto and Scarborough Elementary Schools. And she's also the founder of Indigo, a startup dedicated to easing pain points for lab researchers, such as day-to-day -day inventory management. She grew her company in the hub, which you've heard referenced earlier, one of our entrepreneurial incubators. She now coaches other entrepreneurs, particularly those with businesses related to technology, life sciences, and STEM, and holds consulting sessions with many folks. We're very proud to see students like Dr. Ratnam make such a difference in the world because of the opportunities provided to them right here on this campus to enable them succeed. Dr. Ratnam, the floor is yours. It is truly an honor to celebrate this incredibly special day with all of you. From the very moment that I joined the Hub, which is, uh, I guess, a, a reflection of what is to be as well, I knew I had found a space for individuals driven by a passion to tackle the most pressing challenges of our time through the power of innovation. Here. I discovered a vibrant community of dreamers and doers that continue to inspire me every day. The Hub is more than just a physical space or a collection of resources. It is a mindset. It has instilled in me the courage to embrace failure as a stepping stone to success and it has been transformative in my own personal growth, pushing the boundaries of what I ever believed possible. Its profound importance in shaping my life cannot be overstated. It's impossible to speak about the hub without talking about the University of Toronto Scarborough at large and how it has impacted my life in multiple ways. I was just a wide-eyed high school student when I first walked through the halls of UTSC's science wing with the professor who guided me all the way to the Canada-wide science fair as a high school student. And this experience laid the foundation for the next few years of my life where I chose to pursue my love for science at UTSC through completing both my bachelor's and doctoral degrees in neuroscience. Within this beloved institution, I found myself surrounded by extraordinary community of scientists, individuals whose dedication and tireless pursuit of knowledge I am forever grateful to have been trained by. It was during this period that I realized my burning desire to merge science and entrepreneurship. And it was the hub and the invaluable mentorship I received that provided we, me with the platform I needed to launch my startup. From crafting business plans to mastering the art of the pitch and so much more, the hub played a critical role in navigating my steep learning curve from science to business. Its emphasis on its experiential learning 
allows me to put theory into practice and to test and to iterate in a safe and supportive environment. As a proud alumnus of UTSC, what makes today particularly special for me is that UTSC happens to be nestled in the part of the GTA I call home. My family immigrated to Scarborough when I was a mere four months old, and like many other Scarborough families, we all faced the unique challenges that come with building a life from the ground up. So growing up in the GTA, I've often heard of Scarborough being referred to as on the outskirts, sometimes less than, and even the part of the city that often gets the short end of the stick. But I tell you today that none of these phrases reflect how I see this city or what this city means to me. To me, Scarborough is a city brimming with potential and limitless talent. I have witnessed this firsthand through the continuous stream of innovators and entrepreneurs who walk through the doors of the hub. With this remarkable partnership, Mr. Sam Ibrahim is investing in the future of every individual whose life will be touched by this entrepreneurship center. And here, the true measure of success will lie not only in the prosperity of this great institution, but in the prosperity and in the empowerment of its people. So when Mr. Sam Ibrahim, to whom I'm really, truly grateful, forges this incredible partnership along with his colleagues and his family, forges this incredible partnership with UTSC to effectively galvanize the future of entrepreneurship in this city, what he's really saying to thousands of people like me is, I see you, I see this city's potential too, I see its limitless possibilities, which really means I believe in UTSC, I believe in Scarborough. Thank you. Thank you, Melanie. I would now like to invite President Gertler, Sami Ibrahim, Gabriel Fanus, Shechem Ukani, or oh, sorry, Shemin Ukami, and the Arab Group senior partners to come on stage to unveil the renderings of the building. You all ready for the great reveal? <laughs> all right. I'll wait for everyone to get up stage. My enthusiasm is getting in the way. <laughs> all right. So let's see the renderings. One, two, three. Yeah. Thank you, folks. You can stay here. So the Sam Ibrahim building, now under construction, is set to open in 2024. It will act as a central hub for UTSC's North Campus, housing the Sam Ibrahim Center, as well as student services offices and spaces for the Department of Computer and Mathematical Sciences. The center will include the Arrow Innovation Hall, the Power Technical Staffing Lounge, and the KGS Research Math and Stats Help Center, each named from Sam Ibrahim's business ventures, which are anchored in the Easting GTA. We look forward to what impact this will bring. Thank you, everyone.
You may now take your seats. So thank you once again, Sam, for investing in the entrepreneurs of today and tomorrow, and for inspiring our community with your vision for partnership and what it can make possible. We look forward to the catalytic impact of your generosity in enabling access to opportunity. And even more importantly, we are thrilled about the enduring legacy of creativity and impact that will regenerate itself for many, many years to come. With your contribution and our collective commitment to its objectives, we will inspire inclusive excellence and defy gravity right here in Scarborough. Our formal program is now drawing to a close, and I would like to invite members of the Platform Party to join us on stage for a photo and to mark this special occasion. I would also like to invite all of you here today to stay and enjoy the reception. We have much to celebrate together. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy the party.